All right, we know with the warmer weather here that pests are going to start emerging again, and more people are going to be going outside too, and that does include ticks. Yeah, May is Lyme Disease Awareness Month. It's more important now than ever during this COVID-19 <coughs> outbreak to prevent Lyme disease and know the symptoms on how to get help. So joining us now with some advice is Dr. Jonathan Otten from Northern Lights Medicine. Dr. Otten, thanks so much for joining us today. We talked about Lyme disease being even more dangerous now during the pandemic. Why would that be? that people do, they seek medical uh, advice, um, prompt medical treatment if they believe that they have um, uh, contracted Lyme disease. So um, I, in some ways there's no difference this year. It's, it's really important that we practice prevention um, as the weather warms and we're all anxious to get outdoors. It's really uh, important to uh, perhaps consider some social distancing with these little critters. Um, <laughs> there are some things we can do to dramatically reduce our risk of, of contracting tick-borne in infections. So when we're out in the outdoors, uh, things we can do like uh, wearing long pants and, and long sleeves if that's, if that's possible. Um, I like to recommend to my patients that they consider purchasing some per permethrin at a ho home improvement store or on Amazon and treating their clothing, not their skin, with permethrin. That dramatically reduces the risk of a tick infection. What is permethrin? Also showering when you come indoors. Yeah. Um, Doc and, doctor, and doing careful tick checks. Doctor, what is, what is permethrin? What is that? Permethrin is a chemical, um, uh, it, it's, it's similar to, to what the chrysanthemum family of flowers makes, but it's a chemical that um, will kill ticks uh, with contact. So. Great stuff and fairly good safety and if, if used appropriately. Doctor, we know that Lyme disease um, can be tricky to diagnose. Can you share with us some of the symptoms if someone is feeling something that, that could be it? Yes, so acute Lyme disease, um, we, we uh, often see an erythema migrans or a bullseye target rash, but not mm -hmm. always. Uh, people will be, uh, develop flu-like symptoms fatigue, malaise, uh, joint pain, muscle pain, headache, fever, stiff neck, all of those can be symptoms of acute Lyme disease. Obviously, people are trying to stay out of the clinic and stay out of the hospitals right now. If you have concern, how do you go about getting help? Uh, yeah, people should still, if, if they believe they have contracted Lyme disease, they should still be seen by primary care, urgent care, um, and uh, seek prompt treatment. Prompt treatment is really, really critical with this disease. All right. Uh, Very good. Dr. Jonathan Otten from Northern Lights Medicine. Doctor, thanks for being with us. We appreciate yes, it. Yes, and please, uh, another resource is the Twin Cities Lyme Foundation mm -hmm. for patients who believe they've contracted Lyme disease. Please check out this philanthropic foundation started by Lisa Najarian. Right. www.twincitieslime.org. We've had Lisa on the show before. She's mm -hmm. terrific. It's a great nonprofit, and we've linked it at wcco.com links for people, too. Thanks, doctor.